Hey everybody, this is Ernesto, the creator of The Social Work Mentor, and not everybody knows exactly what Social Work Mentor is, so I thought I'd create this video to give a little introduction about what exactly Social Work Mentor is. So Social Work Mentor is meant to be an actionable tool that is easily accessible, that anybody can use in the office or out in the field to help get us from the training to the direct service that we do with children, families, communities. And so that's the basis of this. It's not meant to be a tool that covers every single concept in social work, but really a tool that we can use that is gonna help us when we're out in the field or when we're trying to do some case planning in the office and really give us some actionable, tangible things that we can do on our caseloads with the families that we're working with. So I'll just click through the site here a little bit. This is what you're looking at if you go to www.socialworkmentor.com and this is on the website. So anybody with a connection to the internet and a browser can come to socialworkmentor.com and this is what you'll find there. So if you click on the user guide, what you'll find in the user guide are just some suggestions on how you might use this if you're a practitioner, a social worker, or a therapist, a counselor maybe, how you might use the tool. These are just some suggestions. Same thing for if, if you're a supervisor, how you might use it with your workers and, and to guide the work that they do. Similarly for managers and also partners in the community. If we're working with you or we're working for you, then you should know the concepts that we're using in the work that we're doing. So the next area that we'll check out is safety mapping. Now some of you may be familiar with this concept, the concept of safety mapping from some of the work that you're already doing and training that you've received. And it can be a very complex process. Obviously when we're working with families, things can get very complex, but there are certain baseline concepts that we use in safety mapping. And these are outlined here in the safety mapping section. So if you click on any one of these areas, you will find information about that particular concept or if you happen to click on the section called harm and danger you'll have an option you'll have a description of what harm and danger statements are and you can choose one or the other and in that section you will see a little tool to help you write a harm statement or a danger statement that might be able to guide the work that you're doing with families now the values and behavior section is really where a lot of this work that you'll find on the social work mentor is coming from it's really the baseline beliefs the baseline as it says values and behaviors that we would imagine or that we would hope a social worker would demonstrate in numerous different areas when they're working with family so as you click through these things you will see some of the behaviors that we would want ideally to a social for a social worker to be demonstrating and throughout these descriptions you can see that there are clickable um, sections that will take you to the area that's specific to that description now here in the tools section, you'll find numerous tools that you can use that will help you in your direct service with clients. Um, you'll find some of these you may be familiar with if you've worked with safety organized practice. So some of these tools align with that work and you can find a link to where you'll find out more information regarding safety organized practice. But there are tools here that you can use and here's the link that you can find more information. But in, if you click on these tools, if you want to really utilize them um, in a more in-depth way other than just getting the information from the site, you can click on them and you'll see some um, examples of what might go in the particular areas. And then if you really want to use one, you click on it and you register with the website. And then whenever you log in, you can download a version of that tool that you could then print out and work right on or, or whatever you need to do when you're working with clients. Now in the field examples section of the tool, what you'll find are some common scenarios that you may find in working with families or just doing social work. So a lot of these are many of you are familiar with and we will be adding to this section soon, but for now these are the common scenarios here. Let's say client is not engaging with services. If you're having this situation with someone that you're working with, you can click on that field example and then here you'll find a tool that might help in that situation. You'll find some of these solution focused questions that you might want to ask that will help you and you'll find the behaviors that are associated with that. So what the social worker should be, how they should be behaving or the things that they should be demonstrating that would help get them to a solution for this particular issue. 
Now I'll go next to the solution focused questions or solution focused section. So if you click on that, you'll find something that we just kind of saw in a different section. These are solution focused questions and solution focused techniques. So there are suggestions and different techniques that we can use that you may or may not be familiar with already, but they help jog your brain a little if you get stuck or if you're trying to figure out how to work with an individual or a family. And it may help you move the family forward and, and continue the work that you're doing with them. Here in the life of a case section, if you click on that, you will find a section that goes over kind of what you may typically see in a social work caseload. Um, so if you look, for instance, at the front end or intake, many social work organizations have something that looks like this. So if you click on that particular area, then you will find tools that might be helpful when you're working in that um, part of a social work organization. You'll find some possible solution focused questions that could likely be um, things that can help in this particular part of the organization and also the behaviors that are likely helpful to demonstrate when you're working on the front end or at in the intake of an organization. And it's the same for all the other areas that are um, outlined in the this section of the social work mentor. So you'll find something similar in all these areas. And finally, just a couple of new areas that we've added recently. So one is the social work mentor store. In the social work mentor store, you'll just find some items that, you know, some of us that are happily employed as social workers, proud to be social workers, you know, you'll find just some stuff that you can, um, you know, use for your laptops or for your coffee or carrying around your supplies. Just um, we'll be adding some more stuff to this, too, um, in the coming days and weeks and months. But you can find stuff here. And also, if you click on enter the main store, there's um, some more different options that you can find in here, different designs that you can look into. And finally, the last section that I will show you is an, also a new section, Social Work Mentor Courses. So these are not meant to be courses that you're going to get your CEUs or um, very high level courses. What these are really aimed at is people that may be considering getting into the field of social work or are maybe in high school or, or early college and they're trying to figure out what they want to do with their, their careers. These are courses that are introductory that give the basic concepts of social work and give a good idea of what someone may expect if they join our field. So these courses cover topics like bias and cultural competency and, and some of the basic themes and concepts of social work. Again, for someone who's considering joining the field of social work and wants to know a little bit more about it before they take the leap and really push forward. So that's what you'll find. So if you know someone that's considering social work, you might want to um, take have them take a look. And there is a free course that you can take that's a little sample of um, what uh, the full courses are. So you can go ahead and sign up for that as well. So I hope this has been a helpful little tour of the social work mentor. I continue in my off time to try to develop this. I do work full time in the field of social work, and this is a side project that I do because I enjoy it, because I hope to help our profession, and because it's fun for me, in all honesty. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at socialworkmentor at gmail.com, or you can connect with me on any of our social media or our social sites here. And feel free to continue to check out the Social Work Mentor. Give me feedback. I'd love to hear what you think and hear how I can improve the site and the app. Hopefully at some point we can connect and continue to move our profession forward. So thanks for watching.